Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. The official announcement has been made. According to a statement released by Colorado on today, Saturday, Deion Sanders primetime coach prime has been named as the school's new head coach. We saw it coming. We knew it was in the works. We knew it was happening. Sanders led Jackson State to its second consecutive SWAC championship minutes before the announcements were made. They timed it. They just they timed it. In three seasons at Jackson State, Sanders, who's 55 years old, he has a record of 27-5, and five, which is spectacular. The school's first undefeated season was concluded by JSU in their 43-24 to 24 victory over Southern in the championship game. In a statement, Colorado Athletic Director Rick George said that while many highly qualified and impressive candidates expressed interest in becoming the school's next head football coach, none of them possessed Dion's credentials, knowledge, or capacity for relating, if you will, to student-athletes. Nobody else had the pizzazz, the, the, the social media presence, the name recognition, I'm adding all that to it. They know, I, I just want to add, they know that Deion Sanders is going to put butts in the seats. Deion Sanders is going to sell tickets. This is very well something that, D, that Jerry Jones would do. I know Jerry Jones, we don't, people are not liking Jerry Jones right now because of what the news that came out. But this is a Jerry Jones type move, bringing someone in for, for just to sell tickets. This is going to sell tickets just because of the name. Is, is he going to bring his son over there? I'm not sure who's eligible. He's already recruiting. Anyway, Coach Prime will not only energize our fans, they say in the, in the statement, our fan base, but I'm confident that he will restore national prominence to our program while coaching a team of high caliber and high character. Hope he's not trying to say JSU doesn't have that high caliber and high character. Hope that's not what he's alluding to in a passive aggressive fashion. That's the coach talking. Carl Durrell, or Doro, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, was fired by Colorado in October following a 0-5 and five start. That'll do it. And an overall 8-15 and 15 record in three seasons as a coach. I don't know how he made it this far. He don't know how to win ball games. As the year came to a close, interim coach Mike Sanford had a 1-6 and six record. They just, they garbage. Hopefully it was. I hope this don't turn into one of them situations where Dion goes over here. Gets this big old chunk of money, uh, brings in some sales tickets, but this team continues to suck. And his career goes from a high, a high achievement, winning ball games, high recognition for HBCUs, on top of his game, on top of the world, and then makes a money move and his career just declines. I hope that's not the case. Sometimes they say go out on top, even though he's in early in his coaching career. But we'll see if this is a good move. Let's continue. Sanders is a well-known American athlete, all-pro, pro bowler. He's been inducted into the college football and pro football hall of fame. He, he's won a World Series and a Super Bowl, I believe, in the same year. He played in the NFL for 14 seasons, two Super Bowls to be exact. Uh, and uh, he played MLB for from 89 through 2001. Now, apparently, Sanders has been preparing for his departure and luring players to his soon-to-be new home in recent days. According to a fresh ESPN report that went out on Friday, the Colorado job was reportedly offered to Sanders last week. Someone said, a staff source at ESPN said, they're not doing a great job of hiding this. However, Colorado would have a huge problem if he pulled out at this last minute. He obviously gave him a verbal already. At the end of the day, perhaps it's all about the dollar, dollar bill. Mm -hmm. It's all about the dollar, dollar bill. It's all about this, him. It's all about that. It's all about that. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Many people might be pretty upset that he's leaving the black school, that he's brought this bit of prominence to for to go to, well, Colorado. Let's talk Turkey. Sanders signed a four-year deal with Jackson State worth $1.2 million overall, and three, which is about 300000 a year. In 2020, he, he signed this. But to help out the school's facilities, 
He decided he donated 75 grand of his salary each year, quarter of his salary every year he donated. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess he's ready to make some real money again and no longer wants to discount his service for the black school. I'm curious though. This may be controversial. I hope it's not. Him donating that 75K each year while at the black school. Is that the equivalent to this? This thing, follow me. You know, when a black person start a business, you tell all your friends and family about it. Black owned this, black owned that. Fashion line, restaurant, and they come and they uh they want to hook up a discount. Would that be would that seventy five k donation? Could that be? Never mind. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. But Dan, Dan don't want to do. Dan don't want this kind of services no more. All right. So he's going over to the whites now. Uh, <laughs> and it's being reported that Sanders is getting a way better deal, worth over five million dollars per year. Did I see that right? Am I seeing that right? They paying him five million a year. They paying him over five million. He had no choice but to go. Y'all remember uh, Kenneth Copeland when he talking about Tyler Perry giving him the plane? He said, Tyler Perry made that plane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. Colorado <laughs> made that deal so sweet for deal, and he couldn't help but take it. <laughs> five million a year versus <laughs> 300000 a year minus 75000 I'm having to give back to discount my services because the school ain't got no money. Oh, I'm with you, Dion. At first, I was like, mm, now I'm with you. That's what Colorado is giving him. Not only that, there's a significant package of contract incentives that could increase his annual pay by around 40%. So he can even get even more. As I stated, at the end of the day, he probably feels like he's done his part. And now it's time to depart. I'm going to say that again. I like that. He probably feels as though he's done his part. And now it's time to depart and make these monies. He's brought eyes, notoriety to some degree. Um, he's, he's, he's made, he's brought awareness to HBCU football. More, more recruits have gone, are going to HBCUs. He's, I won't say put him on a map, but he put him on a map. He's done a great deed. And I say to Dion, bravo. Bravo. And now it's time to make your monies. All right. I think that's all. I think that's it. I think we're done. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. But don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. But certainly let me know in the comments if you think this was a good move for Dion or a bad move. Let me know in the comments. I'm Lamb Levity. Peace out.